Hi everybody, welcome to my channel, I'm Back at the Crochet. So, I hope everybody is doing well today and staying safe. So, if you're new to my channel, thank you for joining me. Here we talk about yarn and crochet. And I do have over a thousand crochet tutorials, all free for you to enjoy. Um, <clears throat> but today we're going to be talking about yarn, because we like to do that a lot here on this channel. So, I ordered from my favorite place to order that is outside the United States which is the wool warehouse. I haven't ordered from them. It's been quite some time. And I just noticed uh, at the making of this video, which is 4-6-2023, my good friend Gary from Urban Yarn, the YouTube channel, please go check him out. You'll love him. Um, he just did and uh, showed some yarn that he purchased from the wool warehouse. So me and him were just thinking the same, I guess. Because uh, <laughs> uh, mine came today. Um, it didn't take long to get here. It it's in the UK. It only took about three days to get to my house in Illinois. They're always smoking fast with their shipping. Well, I pay for express shipping, but they do have regular shipping as well. I don't know how long that takes because I never bought that. But let's look and see what they got. So the Wool Warehouse is, like I said, my favorite place to buy that is outside of the United States. I love it a lot. They have a lot of nice yarns. Um, so some of this yarn is new to me and I'm super excited to look at it. So when you, if you go to their site, the uh, amount is in gold or gold British pounds, or it's in pounds. But I, I'll tell you the price in U.S. dollars. I, I converted it over. So I'll tell you what it is in the U.S. dollars. All right, let's go ahead and begin. This was on sale. They had some nice yarn on sale. And they always ship in these nice organza bags, which is great. Okay. So this is from Stylecraft. This is Dreamcatcher. I've had this before. And it's a very, very pretty yarn. Look at that. It was on sale. They have a clearance section. I always check that out first. And I check out, yeah, see what they got there. So this was in their clearance section. It was uh, $6.18 and that's, that's US dollars and I'm, I'm speaking. Now the Dreamcatcher from Stylecraft is a 150 gram ball. It's made in Turkey. It's 90% premium acrylic and 10% wool, 435 meters or 476 yards, um, and it's a DK weight, and it's roving style. So, you look at it up close, yeah, that's nice. So that's a nice DK weight, which is a lightweight number three, um, and the roving style you can see is just kind of one strand roved together there. It's, it's not plied or anything like that. It's just, roving is my favorite. And it's super soft. I really like this stuff. I really like it a lot. <laughs> so, uh, 476 yards, premium acrylic, and 10% wool. 618. So I got this color. It's so pretty, isn't it? Ocean Deep. Yeah beautiful it's going to be nice self-striping and then i got this one which is called cheyenne oh that one's pretty too i like both of those and i can't keep them both but oh i probably pick, pick this one but i do like the blue but i think i'm liking this one just a little bit more what do you guys think mm, both pretty both pretty so that was the one that i got and then, let's see, they had, a uh, Rowan had a new yarn um, that I got. I like Rowan. Rowan is in my top five favorite yarns. So this is called Rowan Four Seasons. Rowan is sometimes can be a little expensive, but it's a nice brand of yarn. I like it. This one was new this year, I do believe. Um, so I've never had it. It is... <laughs> 75 meters, 82 yards. I would expect nothing less from from Rowan. Or should I say nothing more <laughs> than a little bit of yardage. No, Rowan is, is really a nice yard. Um, um, I'm trying to see what it is. Oh, it's 60 cotton and a 40 acrylic, and it is a four-weight yarn. That's a thick four-weight there. That's, that's nice. It's like a bulky five almost. Feels good. You know, it's, it's garment worthy. I'd make a garment out of it. Like, 
I don't even want to look at the price on it. Yeah, I would make a garment out of it. It'd be cotton acrylic, but it is such it is a thicker one. So maybe I'll make a hat out of it. Like I said, I think I mentioned in my last video, I was going to make a wire brim hat. I have several on my channel tutorials for ones already, but I have a design in my head for one that I want to make. And I think maybe I'll use this. I was uh, in, yeah, I think I'll do that. That's a good idea. I got it. I got four balls of it. That would be enough. So the Rowan Four Seasons was five fifty nine a ball. You know, that's for Rowan. That's really not that bad. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, I think I'm gonna use this for the. I like the color. It's a pretty uh, dusty rose kind of. You well, know, not really dusty rose, but it's a pretty rose color. Yeah, I think I'll use this for my brim hat that I'm going to make. All right, and then I got some Rico. Now I like Rico yarns a lot too um this was new as well gosh it's tiny <laughs> but it's cute it's itty bitty so this is rico rumi rico rumi rico rumi i'm guessing maybe it's for amigurumi i don't know i don't make amigurumi i'll use this for something else rico rumi by Rico Yarns, Spin Spin DK, 100% cotton. So this is a 100% cotton. Look at the gradient effect in that. I got actually two different colors of brown here because brown is my favorite color. Oh, those are pretty. I like that gradient effect. It's just so tiny and there's not much here. You can make a little bitty tiny thing. So it feels fine. It's a garment worthy cotton. What's the DK weight? Let's check that out. This is so pretty. I really like this one. That's a nice, nice DK there. What will I do with this tiny stuff? Probably nothing. I <laughs> give it away. But I wanted to see it, what it looked like. Okay, how much is a Rico Rico? Rico Rumi Spin Spin DK 466 a ball. That is some. Um, expensive cotton did i say the yardage on it i don't even see the yardage unless i said it already sorry i'm off today i'm not on my i'm not on my yarn game today i can't even find it okay i looked it up so actually the yardage isn't it, it isn't too bad it's 125 yards of a dk weight i mean that's not great but and it's for what i said it was 466 that's it's not bad i see it on webs yarnwebs.com if you guys ever bought from there it's six bucks a kick there so it's actually a little bit cheaper at the wool warehouse so yeah it's pretty i like it i don't know what i'll do with it you know it could be a pretty it could be a pretty wide rimmed hat too i got a few of these browns so that would probably play out pretty well too maybe i'll use this one and since it's a dk it'll make it lighter weight this one is pretty thick for a wire brim hat. Let me know. You think I should make the wire brim hat out of, sun hat out of this thick rowan? Or this thinner, I think maybe this light colored, uh, gr gradient colored. This is a DK weight cotton. Rico yarn. Yeah, I think maybe I'll use the Rico. Maybe. I'll see what you guys say, but since this one is a lot thicker. Might be, might be heavier. All right, let's move on. Anyways, okay, what is this stuff? Oh, King Cole. I never know what to expect. That is one of the downfalls of buying online. You, you don't know really what to expect. So I guess that's why I buy yarn and show you so I can try to help you uh, know what to expect. This is King Cole Linendale. Now, I'm not a huge fan of linen yarn. I'm not. This is a DK weight. So it's a lightweight number three. But... So I know linen, linen it's, it's always stiff to me, but I know when you put it in a washer that it softens up. I don't know why. I've just never been a huge fan of linen yarn. So this is a, I actually don't have much linen in it. It's 57 cotton, 30 viscose, and 13 on linen. Um, it's a 50 gram ball or 131 yards. The color is called Mother of Pearl. I love the name of it. I love the color of it. It's 359 a ball. That's not bad. So this is their DK on the King Cole Linendale. 
So that's a nice DK, but the thing is it's spun really loosely. I can see that being a little troublesome to crochet with, and I bought enough of this to make a top if I wanted to. And it's pretty lightweight. I might do that. If not, someone else will get it, but it's, it, it don't feel bad, really. I think maybe that would make a pretty top. Smells clean. Everything from the wool warehouse always smells clean. Okay, so that was nice. I like that. So I like everything I got so far. I didn't get like tons here. Let's see. I don't think I did anyways. <laughs> okay. This is called, this is Sadar. I like Sadar. Mm, this is Saw. That's the brand there. If I can't pronounce something, I'm not going to pronounce it anymore. So this is an Aran weight, which would be a four weight yarn. I've had this before, but the one I had was sparkly. This one isn't sparkly, but this is very pretty and very soft. Oh, I like this one a lot. Mm, that's nice. So it's 130 meters or 142 yards, 50 gram ball. It's 55 acrylic, 25 nylon and 20 alpaca nice stuff i like this one so that's their aaron weight or their four weight mm -hmm. that's pretty i love it it's my favorite color brown um the name of this one is called stag color number 304 and these are 329 a ball not bad if you ask me i like that I actually did buy a few different colors of this that I thought would work well together in one project. You guys can let me know here. Um, how many did I buy? I bought one, two, three, four. Uh, too many. Too many. Too many colors. What's going on, Crystal? Okay. I think that's all the colors I bought. Let's hope so. Sheesh. No. <laughs> it's, it's one more. I don't know if this one matches. All right. So these are colors that I bought. I don't know if that one's gonna that one's gonna roll with them, but so I got this one, which is called Squirrel. Love it. Very pretty. And then we got the stag color. Very pretty. I think they work well together. And then we got hair. And then I got um, fawn. Mm -hmm. And then I got um, stoat. Stoat. I don't know. And this one just looks like it, it doesn't look like it's gonna, it's not gonna work out, but it's still pretty. Anyways, I like this yarn a lot. Salmon. I don't know why I thought that would mix and match up in there, but it doesn't. I don't know if any of them match well now and then I'm... Yeah, I'll make a couple of them work in a project together. These three might be able to work out together. Maybe? <laughs> no? Uh, these three? <laughs> these. These. No. I'll figure something out. These two. These two. <laughs> yeah. Those two. Those two. Maybe that one. <laughs> I don't know. I'll think of something though. But I really like that. That's a good deal on those two. Alright. I'm going to move on. Um, let's see the, what else I got in here. Um, okay. This was new too. I just got one because I wasn't certain uh, anything about it. This is by Rico Yarns as well. It's called Creative Summer Sprinkles. It's 100 grams and 320 meters. So a little over, or about 350 yards. It's 50 bam, or 50 cotton, I'm sorry, and 50 acrylic. It feels fine. I like though, it's the color of it is actually pretty. It's like really springy. Um, let's look at it. Ah, that's a light 
DK weight. What do you guys think? It's pretty lightweight. <laughs> pretty, pretty lightweight. Um, the collar number is 009. Creative Sprinkles by Rico. Well, Rico Creative Sprinkles. Neon green is the collar. 1073. That's a bit expensive. For 350 yards of a really lightweight. Uh -huh. Verge of a two going on a three. Yeah, I like that, but that's probably not nothing I would buy again. It's pretty. I think it's a little bit pricey, though. Um, plus, it's kind of thin for me, so more, I, more likely I won't keep that one. But I still like it. You know, I got to give it a try. It was new. <laughs> I had to check it out. Um, I think I have just like just a couple more here. Mm. Okay, this was something that I've never had. King Cole Prize double knitting so it's a dk which is a lightweight three this one feels not quite so soft so this is 247 a ball it's a hundred gram ball a hundred percent premium polyester 328 yards yeah that's that's mm, that's how it feels like a scratchy wool premium polyester that's not feeling like Anything I would want to wear up against my skin. So, I probably wouldn't buy that one again either. I mean, it's not, it's okay. It's their DK weight. I don't think I would recommend, like, if you wanted to make up some, a nice, like, soft project out of it. I wouldn't, definitely wouldn't recommend it. But, I really don't know what I would use that for, honestly. The, if I made him a groomy or something, but it's just like no kid would want to cuddle with that one. I'm not a fan of that one. I wouldn't buy that again. <laughs> um, no, I'm not. Even even though it was inexpensive, I, I see why it was inexpensive. <laughs> okay, um, let me see here. And then I have two more to show you. Uh, they're the same. I think they're just different weights. Oh, no, no, I got one more, one more. I think I only got, did I only get one of these? Okay. This is Sadar. I thought the name was adorable. Sholly. Oh, it is so adorbs. That is such a cute name. Sadar Sholly. Aww. They want you to make a little shawl out of it. So it's 100 grams and it's 492 yards. Uh, this is roving style. So... And it looks like it's probably a, between a two and a three weight. It's 80 acrylic, 10 wool, and 10 alpaca. That would make a nice, pretty shawl. I like I like the color of it. Such such the golden yellows. Let's dig inside here and look around. See if we see any other colors. That's the thing about these yarns. You never really know what you're going to find inside. It's a golden brown. Oh, that would be so exciting just to use it, just to see what colors are inside when you look. There's one to get to the brown, gets a little darker. I don't want to dig it out too much. So it looks like it's just kind of gold with some brown, a little bit of browns up in there. That's gonna, that would be a pretty little, a pretty little shawly, wouldn't it? So the Rico, 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 where are you at? Um, oh, it's Sadar. I'm looking for Rico. Sorry, guys. I'm sorry. Five dollars and eighty cents. That's not a bad price. Oh, and I got three of them, enough to make a shawl. I don't like lightweight yarns, but this is pretty enough. I'd probably use it to make a shawl out of it. So there it is. I say that's probably. It has some spots that it gets a little thinner, but, you know, I don't know. In between a two and a three, because there are some thinner spots up in there. But roving does that, so. I could probably make a shawl work with this. That is beautiful. I really like that one. And 580, that's a good deal. Yes, I'll probably keep that one and make something with that. Definitely, definitely a good deal on that. Okay, two more. Now these, I think, were the, these are Rico again. I got a lot of Rico. Rico, you were on my mind. All right. Rico Designs. This is Creative Chic Unique. 
So I got it in a DK weight and then they had it in a uh, chunky, which is a bulky number five weight. So this is the bulky. They were both the same price. Ooh, they were kind of expensive. $18.35 for each cake. So this is the uh, bulky five weight. It's 75% acrylic, 15% wool, and 10% polymine. It's a 200 gram ball or 310 meters. So that's kind of what it looks like, this one. That's a bulky five, huh? Well, let's look at it. There it is. That's a nice bulky. That's a nice five way. I like that. It's very soft, too. Well, you know, soft enough. Yeah, you know, that make a really pretty scarf. There's enough there to make a nice scarf. I like that. I like the colors on that one. So the color of this one is called Powder. I like that one. And then this is the DK weight. Ooh. I don't know what made me even get that one. That's not something I would normally gravitate towards, but I got it. And now this one is the same. Uh, it's 75% acrylic, 15% wool, 10% polymine. It's got 695 yards, and it's a DK weight. So let's look at the DK weight on this one. Nice DK, nice DK. So both of those were the same, 1835, a little expensive. That's US dollars, but they feel really good. You can get a shawl and a hat out of this one probably. And that's kind of what this one looks like. Not a shawl and a hat, a scarf and a hat, I mean. Uh, I like, I think it's pretty. It's not really, like I said, nothing I would ever really gravitate towards. If I keep this, I would probably use it on my knitting machine to make it look like that. Otherwise, it probably isn't going to look quite so, you know, like that. If I crochet with it, I probably couldn't get it to look like that. I like them. I probably wouldn't buy them again, though, because they're kind of expensive. But I still like them. I think they're very pretty. Okay, so that's all I got. I definitely love the shawly. Gosh, is that ever cute. That is, uh, that is so cute. Probably one of my favorites um, that I got. And I really like the Sidar, the stuff. It's, I think it's a good price. It feels really, really soft. I don't know what I'll make with it, if I make anything. But I like it, and it's a good price. And then I think, like I said, I would ask you guys. I'm just picking out my faves. <laughs> um, for my wire brim hat... The Rowan, which is a little bit thicker, or the uh, Rico. More than likely, I'll probably go with the DK Rico. Only because it looks more, with that brown, it looks more, I don't know, beachy. Plus, it's a little, you know, it's, this is like in, bet in between weights here. It's like in between a four and a five. So... That might be a little bulky for my hat. I think you guys can let me know though. But this I think would play out really well. Because it's got the uh, gradient effect there. I like that a lot. So I'll probably use this one for my hat. But you know. I'll, I'll listen to your guys. Rico Rumi. You, you're not going to be a McRumi. You're going to be a hat. One of these two. It's going to be a hat. I probably would be more likely to wear that one, but actually I would wear either one. What do you guys think? Okay, one more question. I'm going to use this one for the hat. The dark, it's going to be a wire brim summer hat. Dark or light? You choose. And whichever one wins is the one I'll use. Probably. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to go. I had a good time. There's a lot of pretty yarns here. A couple of them I wouldn't buy again. I told you which ones I wouldn't buy again. But um, I liked a lot of them. A lot of them, you know, were pretty good deals. A couple of them a little bit on the pricier side. But still, uh, you don't know unless you try them, right? All right, I'll see you guys on my next video. Whatever that might be. Okay? Yeah? All right.